Did you know that a plant can communicate when it's growing a new leaf? Get ready to geek out as we explore a day in the life of a new plant leaf. Hey everyone, I hope you're doing super well. So yeah, it is true. Plants can communicate with each other, including signaling when they're about to grow a new leaf. I've always wondered about this when I see new leaves growing in on my plants, even this time of year. Before I break down some interesting factoids, I want to quickly check out my community forum here on YouTube where I asked you folks, since we're in autumn, I'm curious to know, are your plants still popping out new leaves? 93% of you said yay, and 7% said nay. If you do have plants growing new leaves right now, let me know which ones in the comments below. My plants are still growing like crazy. All right, so as I was saying, plants are nature's silent communicators. Research shows they can chat with one another, including sending out signals when they're about to grow a new leaf. Check out some fascinating facts about this process because I guarantee if you're anything like me, they will catch you by surprise. Turns out plants use specialized chemicals called hormones to send messages through their bodies. When a plant is ready to grow a new leaf, it releases hormones that stimulate the growth of cells in the appropriate area. In addition to chemical signals, plants also use electrical signals to communicate. These signals can help coordinate the growth of different parts of the plant, including the development of new leaves. Plants can also use their communication systems to respond to environmental cues such as changes in light, temperature, or water availability. This helps them to optimize their growth and development. So the next time you see a new leaf unfurling on your favorite plant, remember that it's the result of a complex communication network that's been operating behind the scenes. I'm kind of curious to know what they must sound like to one another, you know? <laughs> This is neat too. I did some research on it and it turns out the average time for a new leaf to emerge, grow, and mature can vary significantly depending on factors like light intensity, temperature, humidity, and overall plant health. However, I did look at three popular genus in particular to get a general estimate for you folks. Monstera typically takes several weeks to a couple of months for a new leaf to fully unroll and mature. Larger, more mature plants may produce leaves more frequently. I found this interesting because it seems like my Monstera deliciosa is constantly growing new leaves, whereas my Thai constellation produces one every month and a half to two months. Similar situation with philodendron. Timing varies depending on the specific species, but generally new leaves take a few weeks to a month to fully develop. As for anthurium, these plants tend to produce new leaves more frequently, often within a few weeks or even less. That's definitely true for my smaller anthurium, but when it comes to a big boy like my King Vichii, that baby pops out a new leaf about once every two months, but they are really big leaves. So keep in mind, these are just estimates and individual plants may vary. Providing your plants with optimal growing conditions such as sufficient light, adequate water, and well-draining soil can help them grow and produce new leaves more quickly. This brings me to my next community poll question. I ask you folks, what's your favorite genus of plant? 53% of you said philodendron, that's the one I chose, 18% chose alocasia, 8% are fans of anthurium, 13 for monstera, and 10% of you selected other, though when I look through the comments it appears those of you who selected other tend to fancy Hoya the most, which rightfully so, Hoyas are stunning. I have some fun facts about new leaf emergence to share with you in just a second, but real quick, would you mind helping me out by liking this video, subscribing to my channel, and hitting that notification bell so I can keep you up to date on all my planty content? It takes only a second, and I greatly appreciate it. You know what doesn't take just a second <laughs> for a new leaf to emerge? But I do have some really interesting new leaf fun factoids to tell you about, so let's break them down by genus again. When it comes to philodendron, many species have distinctive leaf patterns such as fenestrations or variegations. These patterns can change as the plant matures or is exposed to different environmental conditions. Philodendron often develop area roots which help them climb and anchor 
for themselves to surfaces. When it comes to Monstera leaf growth, as Monsteras mature, their leaves can become incredibly large and develop fenestrations. Some species can produce leaves that are several feet long. I mean, just look at the latest leaf on my Thai constellation. This plant isn't even a year old yet, and I got its leaves to balloon in size. My trick? Feed it fish fertilizer. I like to use Alaska Fish Fertilizer 511, and I add it into my plant's water year-round. Give it a shot. You'll love the results. Like philodendron, monsteras are also natural climbers. They often use their aerial roots to ascend trees and other structures. They can also be grown as ground covers or trailing plants, of course. Turning to the world of Anthurium, Anthurium plants are known for their vibrant and long-lasting blooms, which are actually bracts, modified leaves. These bracts come in a wide variety of colors, including red, pink, orange, yellow, and purple. Some Anthurium species are epiphytes, meaning they grow on other plants for support. These plants often have aerial roots that can help them absorb moisture and nutrients from the air, just like phyllos and monstera. Plants have a lot of challenges when they're trying to grow and thrive, especially when they're sprouting new leaves. Here are a few of the biggest ones. Finding sunlight. Plants need sunlight to grow. If they don't get enough, their leaves might become weak or yellow. Getting water. Plants need water to drink just like we do. If they don't get enough, their leaves might wilt up or dry up. Staying healthy. Plants can get sick just like we can. Insects, disease, and bad weather can hurt plants and their leaves. Getting nutrients. Plants need food to grow. They get their food from the soil, and if the soil isn't healthy, plants might have trouble growing strong leaves. When new leaves appear, plants have to work even harder to overcome these challenges. They need a lot of energy to help those new leaves grow big and strong. A new leaf growing takes a significant amount of energy from a plant. The exact percentage can vary depending on factors like the size of the leaf, the plant's overall health, and the environmental conditions. However, it is safe to say that a new leaf can use up anywhere from 10% to 30% of a plant's total energy reserves. This is because the plant needs to produce new cells, transport nutrients, and synthesize chlorophyll, which is the green pigment it leaves, to support the growth of the new leaf. It's important to note that this energy expenditure is essential for the plant's survival and reproduction. Healthy leaves are crucial for photosynthesis, which is the process by which plants convert sunlight into energy. Okay, so ever wonder what a houseplant's typical day looks like? This might seem bizarre, but I want you to use your imagination right now so we can dive into the mesmerizing world of foliage. Let's start in the morning. Sunlight. When you wake up, the gentle rays of sunlight streaming through the window, this is essential for photosynthesis, the process by which you convert sunlight into energy for growth. Watering time, your human caretaker carefully waters you, ensuring your soil is moist but not soggy. Proper watering helps your roots absorb nutrients and stay healthy. As we move midway through the day, you as a plant would pretty much be napping. Sounds nice, right? <laughs> You'd spend the afternoon basking in the sunlight, taking a break from the active growth that occurs in the morning and evening. All this while your roots continue to absorb nutrients from the soil, which are essential for building strong leaves and stems. In the evening, it is photosynthesis time. As the sun begins to set, you continue to photosynthesize, taking advantage of the remaining daylight. This is also when you'll experience growth. Your cells are busy dividing and growing, allowing you to increase in size and produce new leaves. At night, some more chill time, you enter a period of rest, conserving energy for the following day. While resting, you also engage in respiration, the process of breaking down glucose, which is a type of sugar, to release energy. By understanding these daily activities and their significance, you can provide your houseplant with the care it needs to thrive. 
Now, for the big growth milestone, imagine a new leaf as a tiny green factory. As soon as it unfurls, it's ready to start producing energy for the plant. It's like a solar panel, a little one, you know, turning sunlight into food. It also helps the plant to breathe and stay hydrated just like we do. Overall, the unfurling of a new leaf represents a significant milestone in a houseplant's life cycle. It allows the plant to increase its photosynthetic capacity, regulate its water balance, and continue to grow and thrive. Watching a new leaf emerge from your houseplant can be an exciting experience. However, it is important to remember that patience is key. Timing is everything. The time it takes for a new leaf to unfurl can vary greatly depending on factors like plant species, growing conditions, and the plant's overall health. Some plants may take weeks or even months to produce a new leaf. You need to avoid impatience, by the way. It is tempting to check on the new leaf constantly, but too much handling can stress the plant and delay its growth. Maintain optimal conditions. Ensure your houseplant is receiving adequate light, water, and nutrients to create the best possible environment for growth. And also, don't forget to enjoy the process. Instead of focusing on the end result, take time to appreciate the beauty and complexity of the plant's growth process. Remember, patience is a virtue, especially when it comes to caring for houseplants. With a little patience and understanding, you'll be rewarded with a healthy and thriving plant. I want to hear about your new leaf growth stories. Which plant in your collection grows new leaves the fastest? And which is your favorite to watch emerge? If you're curious to know mine, it is without a doubt the Philodendron Linamii. It is a rare tropical beauty. When new leaves emerge on this plant, they display a vibrant flamingo pink hue that gradually transforms into a rich green as they mature. The contrast between the fresh pink leaves and the darker green mature ones is striking. It is so beautiful. I just can't get enough of it. But yeah, please let me know your favorites in the comments below. And as always, I want to thank you folks for watching another one of my planty videos. If you haven't already, please like subscribe, and hit the notification bell to keep updated on my latest planty content. And if you're looking for another video featuring some stunning foliage, check this one out in the corner. Until next time, I'll see you folks in the next video.